So I'm going to do a new video now. This is kind of my little impromptu uh, Valentine's Day video. I got my bed right here and it's got all these dollar bills, fives, and whatever on it. I'm figuring since all that other stuff don't work, chocolates and flowers and roses and all that lovey-dovey stuff don't work, maybe this will work. You know what I'm saying? So I just put all these dollars up here on the bed. So there you go, ladies, you know, ready for you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, but now on a serious note, um, this this video is, that was just my little, uh, you know, I had to stick it stick it in the uh, ear or the back or whatever of all the ladies, if there are any of them listening to this. So anyway, um, this video, this audio, so on, is about, let me just set it up here. kind of cool it's about new currencies initially when i was thinking about n currency money the problems of money and currency i had this idea one day i said well why what about the abolition of money why don't we just abolish money entirely but of course that's not a viable solution because if you abolish money entirely you just create a new set of problems that you then have to resolve so then I say, well, okay, then we have all the alternatives that are already presently being applied, which is, oh, well, let's just prop up the existing system and keep, you know, just keep carrying it forward. But of course, that only serves a certain number of individuals, certain groups, but the majority of us are going to be on the losing end of that model. So there is a solution, though. There is a viable one. It's neither abolition of money nor is it to prop up the existing systems. It's not to even to remove the existing systems. It's actually, the solution is to create new currencies altogether, um, new alternative currencies and new complementary currencies. And those are the two basic varieties, types of currency, ones that are alternative systems that alternative to what we presently have and then systems that are complementary to it. And I'm not saying that we should have any currency systems that are antagonistic to our current system. They should just be able to work right alongside it, and the, they should be able to extra, exchange uh, and trade back and forth between all the different currencies. Um, the fact is, is that even if we had all of the wealthiest people, millionaires, billionaires, investing economically, in all the, you know, in all the cities, like, look at Silicon Valley as an example. You know, they've had all this stuff out there, all these technology companies now for whatever number of years. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, now, why is it all the dudes that live in East Palo Alto, why isn't there full employment for those dudes? See what I'm saying? And then, like in my own hometown of Richmond, California, you got the Chevron Richmond Refinery. And I'm saying to myself... Okay, you got this big, gigantic conglomerate, which is international in scope. Why isn't it like hiring all these young black men, Latinos, whatever, from Richmond, California, instead of letting them, you know, be out on the streets? So the, the problem is not uh, whether or not we have businesses and money and whatever and the potential for investment. The problem is the allocation of resources. You know, currencies are not being equ equitably allocated. We have within our currency system now systemic inequality, inequalities rather, a whole slew of them that are unresolvable. It's like a computer problem. You can just keep putting it in the computer again and again, and the computer's going to be like, man, I can't solve this. You know, this is, this is an unresolvable problem, man. This computer is going to crash if you don't just say, look, you know, you're going to have to come up with another. You're going to do something entirely different. So, OK. So, as I said, there there are alternative. We, we need to create alternative and complementary currencies to our existing currency systems, whether you, you call the currencies, you know, livestock, grain, commodities, you know, dollars, you know, whatever the heck. However you term it, we have to come up with alternative and complementary currencies. Now, the platforms that these are going to run on 
are going to be, well, first, let me just say, okay, these, these alternative and complementary currencies are all going to be digital, digital currencies or digitally based currencies. They're all going to be based on computer uh, software applications and, uh, you know, computer networks. Okay. And, and even the internet, it's going to end wireless communications. So basically what that means is with all those platforms, mobile communications, uh, internet, computers, networks, okay, those things, what you're going to have is you're going to have, we can create three distinct platforms for these two different alternative and complementary currencies. So we, we already have, um, we already have the platforms developing for, developed rather for, um, for all three of these actually. So the platforms are already developed or developing. So what we have are, is we can have platforms for our currencies that are, um, essentially, I guess you could say that this is what these currencies will be. Um, <clears throat> mobile phone currencies, card currencies, and internet currencies. So when you look at mobile phone currencies, we already have this pay by phone thing happening. So we can create on that platform, a whole range of mobile phone currencies. We already have, uh, credit cards, debit cards, gift cards, you name it, all kinds of cards. And so what we can create is a whole range of other card currencies that are based on a card, you know, real simple. Or even maybe we'll get to where we can do like, a, you, they're already doing like chip, I guess you could say chip currencies. Maybe that's what the whole, between card currencies and mobile phone currencies, maybe it's all about chip currencies. But then also we, we can create a whole range of internet currencies. So let me give you, you know, as I said, there's, there's a few notable examples of each. So, I mean, I'm not going to get into the, the pay by phone kind of things because I don't know much about all the providers or any of that stuff. And that's a developing kind of thing. But as far as new card currencies, there is a viable model that we should get on board with immediately. It's called barter card. Now, um, and then as far as internet currencies, there's another one that's viable called Bitcoin. Now, I'm not saying that these are the only options, you know, barter card, Bitcoin, so on. But I think they're good starting points and we need to kind of start somewhere basically. But I think that if we get, if we started doing barter card, we could do a lot of things. And I just want to say a few things. The barter card kind of thing specifically, it can work if, if the model that the company is presently using is corrected. So it would have to be a system kind of where there's no upfront costs, minimal per transaction fees, and transactions should be able to be processed through all existing card readers, you know, credit and debit card readers. Now, when you can do that, then a barter card can, we could each have a barter card in our wallet. We could, every business could honor barter card and guess what? Now it's a viable currency. So I really want people to get on that bandwagon, look up barter card, look up Bitcoin, you know, even pay by phone, look up chip, you know, chip currencies, you know, so mobile phone currencies, card currencies, internet currencies, these are the currencies of today and tomorrow, and we need to develop them. And, um, we can create as, as many new alternative and complementary currencies as are necessary for all of our needs and purposes. There's no reason for anybody on this planet anywhere to be impoverished. We have the potential right now with our, through our digital technologies, through our, you know, our electronic communications and our computer technologies and networks and wireless uh, networks to create all these kind of chip currencies, you know, and, and that can go, come through mobile phones, that can work through card currencies and through inter the internet. So we need to get on it. We need to do it. And, uh, and then... You know, I won't be having to strew no flowers on my bed or no money on my bed to, you know, just tell women they need to grow up and wake up. So that's about it. Thanks.